How do I know if I am of those individuals who is suspicious? By the way, there is a condition that I came across called Paranoid Personality Disorder, PPD. This is a condition, which is a psychiatric condition, which involves somebody who is excessively suspicious, questions the motives of others, you know, thinks that people will harm them. They will always bear grudge on others, finds the wrong in everything that is being said, even though it is innocent. And that could be a medical condition. But we are talking about, no, we are talking about generally people being suspicious. How do I know if I am of those who are, what, of Su of Van? Number one, and that is whatever I see in front of me, before me, I begin to question or I have to think, okay, maybe this is not where it's supposed to be. You know, some people have this incredible ability, yes, or habit that they will not take things at surface value. They're constantly digging further and further, thinking that there are ulterior motives. Number one. Number two, you spy on people. Tajassus. The Quran says it follows. Once you become suspicious, once you act upon it, thereafter you can't hold yourself except to go and look into the private lives of others, to go and spy and to do things which are not acceptable Islamically or morally. Number three, sometimes have you seen situations where some people, for example, they have had a conflict or someone has a suspicion of somebody, like a husband and wife. Let's give an example. Husband and wife have a fight. One of them decides to apologize to the other. Comes and says, I'm sorry. I said something I shouldn't have. The suspicious person says what? Instead of accepting the apology, uses this to reinforce their suspicion. And says, see, now I know. Before I was thinking you don't love me. Now this confirms it. Now your expression shows that you don't. Yes. Therefore, an individual uses what others say to feed their thoughts. That is also another sign of somebody who's suspicious. And the fourth one is very important. Someone who wears dark glasses. Not physically. Yes. Not wearing sunglasses. But someone who is pessimistic and negative and looks at everything in a negative manner. Yes, would like to pick on everything. You have come across people, I am sure, in your life where an individual does not want to see the khair or good in anything. For example, they attend a majlis, terrible majlis. Everything was bad about it. Yes, they read a book, they go to a shop. What kind of this? Weather complaining all the time. Maybe if they live in the UK, they have an excuse. Yes, sometimes weddings, people go weddings. It was the worst wedding I've been. Allahu Akbar. Once I went to North America, somebody came to me and said, we would not want me to tell you about this wedding. I said, Bismillah, inshallah, nothing happened serious. He said, it was the worst wedding I have attended in my life. I was preparing myself for the worst. I said, what has happened? He said, can you believe it? The biryani did not have meat. It's a true story, huh? I said to him, really? He said, yes. The bride and the groom said the biryani, we want it to be vegetarian. May Allah forgive them. I said, did they sin? In the recognition that there are certain individuals who sadly would like not to see any good in anything that they come across. Yes. And this is problematic. Yes. This leads to distrust and violence sometimes in society. In which way? There was an individual who unfortunately walks in the streets and in the mosque, a Muslim who kept saying tissue, tissue. People start to think he's gone crazy. Someone went and investigated. One of the ulama says in the Middle East, he said, I went and investigated. It turns out that he came one day home. He was suspecting his wife having a relationship with somebody else. And what? And he found a piece of tissue that was there. He opened it and it had inside it a perfume for male, for men. So he said, this wife of mine must be what? Having a relationship with another person because this is not mine. So he went and hid and killed her. Later on, he found a note to say that I have bought you this perfume to give it to you as a gift. So he lost his mind because of the suspicion that he had. He committed murder. It causes violence, distrust. Yes. Break up of relationships in community and society. When people are constantly mistrusting each other, suspicious of each other's motives and statements. Constantly saying, why are you doing this? Why is this person doing this? They have other motives. They're doing it because of this. It's a huge problem. And the Quran says, The majority of suspicion, you must stay away from it. Why? 
إن بعض الظن إثم it becomes حرام it becomes a sin when an individual does what goes to the second level and the third level what do we mean we said the first level is what's in your mind the second level is what when you begin to express it that is the moment where you are sinning the moment you express the doubt about a particular individual if it is not substantiated or has a valid reason behind it then you are going into unfortunately territory that what that is un-islamic